you will use, Lord God, starting for the worship team, Lord, our worship leader, Father. I pray that you will anoint them, Lord, with a double portion of your anointing, Father, so that in singing these songs, Father, we will experience you, Lord God, where there will be an environment, Lord God, in such a way, Father, that everyone will be able to connect to you, Father, in worshiping you in spirit, and in truth, through the songs, through the music, Father, let these words, Lord God, that will be saying, Father, really be felt by each and every one of us, Lord. I pray that you will uh, guide, you will lead our worship leader, Pastora Reds, Lord God, in worshiping you in spirit and in truth. And everyone, Lord God, that will stand in this pulpit, Father, we declare and we pray, Father, that you alone will be glorified, will be magnified in everything we do, Father. So, Lord, we, we 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 give to you lord god this worship service today father because truly lord god if we are if, if we are with you if if lord everything is being done for your glory lord god we will be victorious in your mighty name our lord and savior jesus christ so thank you for everything father and as we start lord god i'd like to call the the worship coordinator sister ellen Amen. Uh, good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, praise God. Uh, welcome po sa Jesus, the Resurrected King International Ministry. So, thank you, God, because we are all gathered here in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, for our scripture for today, let's read, uh, re let's read all together. Chapter John, I, John chapter 16, verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to you, I For if do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Amen. So God, God is good all the time because we are all here as God, uh, as God always lead us. Where we, uh, kaya nga po nandito, it was God who brought us here. So, Amen. So, as we proceed for our worship uh, can we put our chairs at the side amen praise god uh, this morning while you are arranging your chairs uh, let us invoke the presence of the holy spirit in our lives amen for this morning it is not by accident that we are here for it is really the Lord and His Holy Spirit is moving in our lives. For this day, it's a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Yes, Holy Spirit, come and move in this place. Praise your name, Lord.
you God this morning because you are our father. There is no other God like you father and that's why you have, we have come here together Lord so that we can uplift your holy name because there is no one like you. We worship you because you are the beginning and you are the head oh God. We didn't come here Lord to meet each other but we have come here Lord to glorify your holy name. Thank you Jesus Christ because of what you have done for us. Thank you so much because our souls can say that we are saved by your grace. It's not by work, so it is not by work for us to be post because it's through your Holy Spirit that we can say we are here to meet you, O Lord. We know that there is nothing impossible with you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, and take over in this sanctuary. Come, Holy Spirit, and touch each and every soul which thirst for you, O God. We are here, O Lord, because we need to hear from you, God. Thank you, God, because each and every activity we are going to do in here, Lord, we dedicate each and every soul, O God. May we, Lord, worship you in truth and in spirit because we love you, God. Thank you, God, for every woman. Thank you, God, for every man. Thank you, God, for everyone who has come, Lord, to worship you. Thank you, God, because we need your wisdom, God. The wisdom to worship you, Lord. The wisdom to hear from you, oh God. The wisdom, oh dear Lord, to live for you. Thank you, God, because we know that you are here with us. Lord, we dedicate our souls, we dedicate our, our service unto you, Lord. In this name, Lord, Jesus Christ, we do pray, believe, and give thanks. And everyone say, Amen. 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 Praise God. Are we ready to worship our living God? Amen. It says in the book of, uh, of Ezekiel, wherein he was in the spirit, he said there that he was walking ankle deep, knee deep, in waist high deep, and overhead deep. So this morning, let us, uh, let us uh, desire the overhead deep, overflowing blessing, overflowing presence of our living God. It says in Psalms 42 verse 1, 2, As the deer pants for the water brook, so pants my soul for you. O God, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come up here before God? This is the day, the appointed day that the Lord has given us to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Let's give a clap of praise to our living God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Our hearts cry out for God. We're a holy presence to move in.
have our church Just we're staring up deep, deep wells We're staring up deep, deep waters We're gonna jump in the river Jump in the river Just we're staring up deep, deep wells We're staring up deep, deep waters We're gonna dance in the river Dance in the river Shout, 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 everybody Shout, shout, shout 
coming of your mercy And I know we'll never be the same There's no limit to your promise Jesus, you have done it all for me Jesus, you have done it all for me Lord God, overflowing presence, Lord God. You said in your word, Lord God, in Exodus 35, verse 21, then everyone came whose heart was steered or whose heart was willing and everyone whose spirit was willing, they brought Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting, for all its service and for the holy garments. Truly in the Old Testament, they're giving something to the Lord. They're giving something to offer to the Lord. And it's a thing that they offer. But in the New Testament, it says in Romans 12 verse 1, that therefore, brothers and sisters, I urge you, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is our reasonable service to our living God. Truly, we don't need to bring something to the Lord. The Lord sees everything laid bare naked in His eyes. People of God, let us bring our hearts, contrite hearts before the Lord. Let us offer our hearts and our lives 
as a living sacrifice to our God. He said in His Word, those who are willing, those who are willing, come before the presence of the living God. That you have come here to experience His presence, His mighty moving in our lives. That this world has nothing to offer, only His presence, His grace, His love, His salvation is sufficient for us. Spirit. 
worship into your name our living God and all the blessed worshipers of the one true living God will cry a victorious amen and amen praise the Lord God
Thank you po sa ating worship ministry. Ah. Sabi nga po eh, we believe you, Jesus Christ, and we worship you. I just wanted to thanks na I feel the Holy Spirit. He feel this place nga po by His presence. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Ah, uh, Uh, we wanted to welcome our <laughs> we wanted to give our welcome to our newbie a new well, new family pala uh, Uh, good morning po sa lahat. Um, yes, I'm a newbie here. <laughs> I'm the wife of Pastor Art. And it's a privilege to be with you, my brethren. And it's an honor na I can be worshiping with you in this place. And thank you. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. And I thank God for this opportunity that I can see all you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you po. We are so blessed po sa buhay mo. Amen. Ah, uh, uh, sa ngayon po may sasabihin lang po ako. Sa yung pong <laughs> When we are worshiping, I just wanted to say na this is God wants us. We worship same as King David na he doesn't care what people say to him, say to him, right? And we can see, I can see na yung fire in our hearts. I so I'm just so thankful kasi feel na, na naramdam ko yung presensya ng Holy Spirit is yung nag ano nga ay opo hunger we are hunger from it. from the worship sorry po ha mga Kenyan brothers and sisters yun po uh, let's proceed for our testimonies a testimony yeah praise God uh, can we give a clap offering to the Lord Mga one minute. Can we have the clap offering to the Lord for one minute? Come on, church. You can do better than that. Come on, give Him. We cannot outgive God, but you know, when we give Him the highest praise, the highest adoration that you can give, that's why He is the all-consuming fire. Amen? He will consume our offering to Him. Come on, church. Come on. Wala pang one minute. 30 seconds pa lang. If you get her doing that, imagine if you are in heaven already. 24-7, we are going to worship God there. So dapat, we will not feel any tiredness. We, hindi tayo mga, mga ngalay have where we are clapping our hands. Amen. 10, 9, louder. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hallelujah. Ayun, di ba? When we worship God, don't you don't you feel that uh, energy surging inside of you because you feel the life. Amen. You feel the life. We we breathe in grace. We breathe out praise. Amen. That is our uh, resuscitation. That is our um alam tag dito sa medical term. That is our uh, how we should breathe. How should the Christians breathe? We breathe in grace. Amen. Sige na try nyo grace. And we breathe out praise. Praise you, Lord. Amen. Again, so I will breathe out praise because the Lord has given me much grace. Um, after three months of um, having maternity leave plus sick leave because um, there was problem when I was still uh, pregnant, um, I was able to go back to work now. Actually, it was on the 24th of April. And uh, only the mommies can relate. Mommies, it's very hard, diba? It's so hard um, when you have been um, you have you have your 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 body is programmed, your body is uh, um, really um, in tuned um, with taking care of your baby, and then you have to go back to work and join the workforce para sa ekonomiya. And it's very hard. I don't know if the husbands understand. Do you understand? <laughs> The pain the moms have to go through, but you know, um, I, I many times I would I would tell Pastor Alvin, Mahal, I don't want to go back to work. I really don't want to go back to work. I really don't want to go back to work. 
but I understand that uh, my first calling is to be uh, his helpmate. I'm, I'm not saying that um, um, he is not being blessed by his company, but um, I believe that uh, it is also my part, my duty, my responsibility, my calling, and my accountability to help him not only in the ministry but also in the fi um, finances. So, and I believe that even at work, we can glorify God with whatever we do. Amen. If we give our best, if we are being honest, if our integrity is there, and we are being Christ-like in our ministry, as Christ was, um, cr um, as as did Christ in his ministry, in his work, in our work, he was a carpenter. Amen. So he did not. Uh, he was not uh, um, faithful to God only in his ministry, and I believe even in his being a carpenter. Amen. And ayun. So praise the Lord because I was able to get through it. And I, you know, God, God is really amazing. Um, I when I go back, um, if the mummies are aware here in Qatar, there's the Qatar labor law that um, you are given for one year, one hour work off. I mean, if you work for nine hours, you get you minus one hour for that, so eight hours you work. The one hour you can go home for that's that what they call the nursing hour, and it is your right to choose whatever time it is, and it is your right that the company will not cut off your salary for that one hour. Amen. So uh, when I went back, I was really hesitant to get that to avail for that. Uh, even if it's my right, I was very hesitant because I know the workload in in the in my in our department. But you know. The first day I was there, one senior engineer approached me and asked me, when did you give birth? So I had to think, you know, two, twice, two anesthesia. So I had to remember when I gave birth to Rachel, I said, January 22. Or is it February? No, it's January 22, I told her. So she said, okay, thank you. And then from that, I, I looked in the email. There were a barrage of emails um, um, being exchanged from the manager to the senior to the HR. And, you know, just like that, I cannot snap my finger. Just like that. By the, by the blink of an eye, by the snap of a finger, um, that one hour every day was approved. Wala pong bawa sa salary yun. So, nagets nyo po? Every day, instead of sitting from 7.30 to 5.30, I get to ho go home at 4.30. And during the Ramadan, our working hours would be 8 to 3.30, I can go home at 2.30. Amen. That is grace. Amen. Amen. Effortless for that thing. So can we give a clap offering to that? I'm so happy. I'm so I'm so blessed by that. And um, it just reminds me and it reminds us also, every one of us, to be still and let God be God. Let him do his work and let's just be faithful him to him. Let's just be prayerful. Amen. Praise the Lord. So praise God. Yung grace nga po is God's favor is with us. Amen. So for the next, I, uh, uh, good morning. Yeah, uh, I'm standing here again uh, just to thank Lord, uh, the Lord, what He He give to me and to my family this a couple of weeks this this week. So uh, you already know what is my situation in here. So I'm the uh, breadwinner of the family. So uh, I'm the ones working only here in Qatar. Then uh, uh, they are my sponsor. Uh, the uh, sponsor under they are under my sponsor. Sponsorship. <laughs> so uh, uh, first of all, I thank to the Lord uh, for giving me another year of my life. Okay. And actually, it is. Uh, <laughs> so the uh, when my birthday comes, so it uh, my contract will be finished. So it's like uh, it's a burden that the gift that I will receive on my birthday to do a job. All right. So that is that is hard for me. So but. You need to be faithful to the Lord and talk to Him, and uh, I think He's still in control in your life. So on my last day, uh, 30, so because we're wor I'm working in a telecom field, so in my last day, in my work, they call that it will be extended for another 15 days. 
So I would still have another 15 days salary. Then yesterday, uh, my boss called me again. Then it will be extended into one month. So I would be having my full salary for one month. So uh, God is in control. As, as, as uh, Pastor Joanne said, that uh, he, he is the one giving you all the rest. He knows your problem. Then uh, he will make true that that your your dreams your your prayers will come through and i'm also thinking to the intercessory prayers uh, for all the prayers that he's giving to me and to you just believe in god and it will come through Amen. glory to god amen uh, i just wanted to share a short story it just it has just come to my mind now do you remember the story for Moses and while Joshua was fighting uh, that time when I sorry brother <laughs> just, no it's, a, it's just a short story uh, when the time when Joshua was fighting every time that they, they feel that we were defeated uh, they just look up and Moses was uh, uh, so it was just Jesus was interceding for us let's always remember us that uh, God's will is always acceptable God's will is always good and God's will is always perfect amen so. okay thank you so much for this list <laughs> thank you, thank you all, thank you all. So I'm so blessed uh, to be here today, especially this very moment. And I would like to thank you all of you because you have been together since 2016 up to this time now. So today being my party day, I will start playing with you today here. You can do it, you have not yet come, but it will be born next on Sunday, date 5. So I would like to celebrate together with you here. This is the day Lord has made it. So thank you so much and I would like to congratulate Pastor Andre. You have been encouraged, you have been encouraging me to this all through the way. <laughs> that the life is hard, of course it's very hard, but thank you, Pastor, for your encouragement and everything. It's for Pastor Money. Thank you also. Thank you all of you because you have been like my friends, my father, my family, everything to me. So I thank you for everything you have done to us. So my fellow platters and Kenyans at the back, I know you have something to present, but maybe <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So I would like, because today my being my birthday, I would like to thank God and uh, indeed God is beautiful. So Jesus is my beautifier. So I would like to, my friends are Kenyans come and join me to sing to God because God has made this day to be beautiful here today. So can you please come here for us? Sister, in the way, I've never seen you. <laughs> Come front, please. <laughs> Thank you. So, this, these are my fellow Kenyans. Have you seen? They are happy today because they are going to celebrate with me the happy that party day. I'm turning 26 years old. I'm turning 26 years old now. 26 years old, I'm turning now. So be with us. And maybe you can tune us the song, see if you know the songs. I think it is not very hard for us to sing, but it's a easy song for us to sing. So the song itself is Jesus is my beautifier. Jesus is my beautifier. So I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, here it goes. My beautifier, you taken away the shame, you taken away the pain, you made me so beautiful. Oh, my beautifier, you taken away the shame, you taken away the pain, you made me just like you. Jesus, you are beautifier, you taken away the shame, you taken away the pain, 
You made me so beautiful, oh my beautiful. You taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me just like you, oh my beautiful. You taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me so beautiful, oh my beautiful. You taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me so beautiful, oh my beautiful. You taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me so beautiful, oh my beautiful. You taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me just like you, 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 just like you. Just like you, oh Jesus, just like you, just like you, just like you, just like you, oh my beautiful, you taken away the shame, you taken away the pain, you made me so beautiful, oh my beautiful, you taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me just like you, 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 oh my beautiful, you taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me so beautiful, oh my beautiful. You taken away the shame, you taken away the pain. You made me just like you, just like you, just like you, just like you. That's what you meant to me, just like you, just like you, just like you. Just like you, oh Jesus, just like you, 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 just like you. Now we have some one more because it's my birthday. I have to be proud of you, so don't be don't be angry about it, okay? Oh. So I know you are very happy. You are joyful. Your faces, I am so happy to you today. So the song itself, maybe a tip. So the song is about. Uh, Okay, okay. The song is for our back home country, Kenyan language. But you can <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Maybe sister can join us. Yeah. Okay, praise the Lord. It's a Swahili it's a Swahili song and it says that there is no one like Jesus. So it's just interpretation that, so the way we will sing it, there is no one like Jesus. So when you see us standing, it's like we are searching for Jesus. We are looking for Jesus everywhere, but he is not, he is only Jesus. There is no one like him. You can search for him. You can search for him in the mountain, in the hills, in the river, in the valleys, but you cannot find him unless you look on the cross what he did. That's how the song says. So we're going to present it in Swahili. And you will be blessed, but it's just it's like that. So when you see us standing, we are looking for Jesus everywhere. So maybe you'll see some of us going everywhere looking for Jesus, but they won't find him. So it goes this way. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just clap your heart like that. Hakuna mugu kama we we. Hakuna mugu kama we we. Hakuna. Hakuna mugu kama wewe Hakuna mugu kama wewe Pigen makopi Hakuna mugu kama wewe Hakuna na ate kuwepo Ni metafuta kote kote Ni metafuta kote kote Ni mezunguka kote kote Hakuna na ate kuwepo 
Hakuna mweza kama Yesu Hakuna mweza kama Yesu Hakuna mweza kama Yesu Hakuna na hata kuwepo Nimeze teya kose kose Nimezu guko kose kose Nimeza kuta kose kose Hakuna na hata kuwepo Okay, uh, reminders for everyone before we start. Can we set our mobile in a silent mode? Amen. <laughs> okay, uh, no more. So before we start, uh, ano, uh, let's bring our full attention as we are going to receive our, our words to God. So may we call on our preacher for today as he will anoint the words, Pastor Aldrin. Thank you, Paul. Praise. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Good morning. 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 How are you? Are you excited? Yes. Amen. I'm, I'm also excited and happy to stand here before you in front to deliver the message of God. But before that, I'd like to acknowledge yung uh, ating mga first time here. Uh, first off, I'd like to start doon kay Sister um, Sorry Sister, nakalimutan ko na naman yung pangalan mo. Sister Tere. Sister, can you stand up please? Sister? Yan. She's from saan ka uli? Sister Dabao. She's from Dabao. And si, si Brad Celso, taga Dabao din na sa likod mo. Oh, what a dude. Lumingon ko pa. Ayan, taga Dabao din. And then Sister Ber Berhinya. She's from Abra. Correct, Sister? She's from Abra. So, she's Ilocano. Yung mga Ilocano po dyan, yan, yung misis ko, Ilocano. Kaya lang wala siya. Lumabas. And then, sister... I forgot. Marisol. She's from Nueva... 
Ay, Cagayan Bali pala. Cagayan Bali. So, praise the Lord. And Sister Presi and husband, uh, Brother Berhil. Tama? Second place. Saan po kayo? Tara, saan po kayo sa Pilipinas? Saan po? Wow, panggasin. Kayo pong dalawa, panggasinan. Ah, ilo ilokano po kayo. Uh, ay, panggalatok. Ayan po si Ate Lourdes. Yan pong aming pinsan. Yung pla may flowery, ano, taga... Taga ano po yan? Saan ka natin, Lourdes? Ah, yun, taga po sa Rubio. Taga po sa Rubio siya. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Ayan, mag magkakilala ata. Magkakilala kayo. Ayan, praise the Lord. So, wala na. Yun, yun lang na wala na, bro. Okay. So, praise the Lord. You're, uh, you're welcome po here sa J.R. King Church. So, J.R. King, short for... Jesus, the Resurrected King, International Ministry Church. And the uh, holding verse for J.R. King is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 17, which says, And if Christ had not been raised, your faith is futile, you are still in your sins. But praise be to God, because indeed, the Lord Jesus Christ, He died on the cross, but He did not remain there, because after three days, He rose from the dead, and He is at the right hand of the Father, and in interceding for us all. Amen. So that is the name of our church, J.R. King, and this is our holding verse. So we pray and we hope that this will not be uh, the last, but this will be the first of our fellowshipping together. Amen. A beginning of our fellowshipping together. Ayan. So good morning, church. Sinabi na ni Sis Ellen, please turn off, put to silent mode your mobile phones. Amen. So I, I think we can go now, we can proceed. Yeah. So the topic for uh, the topic for this morning is about the Holy Spirit, and actually this is just an introduction of the Holy Spirit because, as you know, uh, we just ended our series of preaching about uh, the Holy Week. We started with the Passover. Uh, we started with the Passover, then followed by the the, the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and then finally the ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that was a, the series of preaching that ended last Friday. And now the the Lord God has given us a revelation to start another series of preaching but this time it is going to be about the Holy Spirit. And since I'm the first one to be doing the preaching, so this message will be about introduction of the Holy Spirit. The detailed, the detailed messages about the Holy Spirit and the works of the Holy Spirit will be the succeeding Fridays. So, <coughs> mind you, church, wag kayong absent. Don't be absent. No. If, if, if you can, lalo na, wala naman kayong work. So, be present at every Friday so that we will receive the message about the Holy Spirit, the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Amen, church? Are you ready? Amen. I'm also ready. But before that, let us bow our heads and close our eyes. As we pray to God and and uh, ask for enlightenment, guidance of the Holy Spirit. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord God, another opportunity, Lord God, to share your word, to share the blessings, Lord God, to these, my friends, my brethren, the J.R. King Church. Thank you, Father God, for each and every one, Father. Thank you, Lord, even uh, for those who are attending this church first time, Father, truly, Lord, we pray that this is not their last, but this this is their first time. And, and Lord... Uh, I pray, Father God, that the words, Lord God, that will be released, Panginoon, will be, Lord, will be planted into a good, to the good soil of our hearts, Lord God, so that in time, Lord, it will grow and malakaram po namin, Father God. Lord, I pray that you empty myself, you empty Aldrin, Father, and that you put your spirit in me, Father, so that I will be able to preach your word boldly, Panginoon. Thank you, Father God. This we pray in your mighty name, our Lord Jesus, and we will thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Yan, may nakalimutan po ako, si Sister Ayan. Sister Ayan. Uh, so, tayo ka po, Sister ha? Yan. So, si Sister Ayan is from Butuan, the wife of Brother Art Yun, nasa likod. But uh, magkalayo kayo? Yan, si Sister Ayan. <clears throat> Amen. So, Sige, let's start na. So again, uh, this 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 would be as I was reviewing this preaching. It it will be like more of a lecture, if you like, because I I want to introduce the Holy Spirit 
the preaching I believe will be will come the, in the succeeding Fridays. But of course, it, we will be discussing about the Word of God. But I will be introducing more about the Holy Spirit and and what the focus would be the interaction between the Holy Spirit and us, the human being. When I was <coughs> when I was a new Christian, I was always asking because every time I hear the Holy Spirit, but I can't see the Holy Spirit. I cannot see the Holy Spirit, but I can feel Him. Amen. And the manis- manifestation of the power and the manifestation of the blessing. So when I was a new Christian, I was always thinking, how does the Holy Spirit works, and how how do we receive the Holy Spirit? So the the message for today will be, uh, dun siya maglalaro. Amen. So let's start. Yan. In the beginning, in Genesis chapter one verse one, if you read the Bible, it says, uh, in the beginning. In the beginning, there was God. Yung base na? Kimutan ka na. Genesis 1.1. Can someone read, please? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yan. So, meaning, there was God. Because, to be able to, for me to introduce the Holy Spirit, we need to start from the beginning. So, but, my focus, the focus of the message will not be about... Uh, the whole creation but will be about the creation of man so in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 it says and you can read in niv it says that god said let us make mankind in our image and in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground so you can see I have uh, underlined let us make mankind in our image and our likeness because as we have come to know from the previous messages, pre- previous preaching that when God said let us make mankind in our image he, He's talking about what? He's talking about spirit, diba? Because John chapter 4 verse 24 says God is spirit and therefore and, and His worshiper must worship in the spirit and in truth so in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 when God said let us make mankind in our image he is talking about man as his spirit not like me no so he's talking about man as spirit na gets niyo po so yun yung sinasabi niya in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 so he in essence he created a human spirit because because he is spirit, so therefore, alang anamang mag create siya ng sabi niya, let us create man in our image. And his image is the spirit. So, of course, he created the spirit, a spirit being, and that is the human spirit. Okay? And, and in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, it says, And the Lord God formed a man on the dust, uh, of the dust of the ground. So, see, in Genesis 1 26, he he created man according to his image so we said that he created the spirit actually so ito na may man na pero spirit pa lang yan and then in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 it says then he formed a man from the dust so may, merong dust then he formed the man so meron tayong spirit naman and then meron tayong man made out of dust out of clay no yan yun siya walang Walang matat ilong. So, and then, and then, in the same verses, God said, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and that man became a living soul. So we have the spirit, we have the, 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 the yung phenom na, yung phenom na dust, out of dust, then, God breathed into the nostrils of that form, dust man formed dust and it became a living soul so therefore that's why we we are composed of spirit uh spirit body and soul so let's say this is the body that was formed out of dust and then when god breathed into it the spirit the spirit uh came to life and it became a living soul as the bible said now notice in hebrew he the hebrew word for breath is rowak no, if now if you will search that the meaning for that it it refers to wind or 
or spirit. It depends on how the, it's being used in the context in the Bible. But for this one, it refers about the transference of the spirit. Take note, we're not yet talking about the Holy Spirit here. We're talking only about the human spirit that has been created in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. So, it became a living soul. So, yan na siya. Gumagalaw na. Gumagalaw ba yan? Yan. So, gumagalaw na. Before, before, he's only, the man is only made out of dust. And now, because of the interaction of, because the spirit went inside the man, now that, that man has a human spirit, so now, the man became a living soul. Now, in Genesis chapter 20, verse 21 to, to, to 22, God said, again, Jesus said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, He breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Now, why we showed this verse is because I want to show you, I want to show you guys that, that or the Lord want to show us that when He breathed, that's actually his mode of transference of the spirit but take note again it is, we are not yet talking about the holy spirit here the spirit that had been transferred to that man is the human spirit that had been created in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 amen are you with me yes. okay amen so now yan job uh job chapter 33 verse 4 look see it says, the Spirit of God has made me. The breath of the Almighty gives me life. So, you see, that's really the, the way. If God wants to give life, He breathes out that life. John 6.63 says, the Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of Spirit and life. What, what I'm trying to say here is, the Spirit gives life. Because the man, that in Genesis 2.7, God form a man from dust and that that man has no life but when god breath unto to that man that made out of dust that that clay let's just say that clay or let's say the, that flesh that body without life when the god breath the spirit then that that uh, body came to life and became a living soul yan so nga kaya sabi sa first Thessalonians Chapter 5, verse 23. May God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we are composed of three. Sino rito ang in doubt na hindi kayo composed of three? Now, I believe every one of us naman believes that we are composed of three because the Bible says so. We are composed of spirit, body, and soul. Yes, body we can see can see our body we cannot see our spirit but i'd like to even myself i'd like to always ask what makes me move you say because because i have heart what makes my heart move you say because i have blood what makes my blood move you say because there are cells in the blood so what makes that cell move you will go 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 until such time that you will not be able to answer anymore and the only answer is because you have the spirit from God. So that's why you have life. You have the body, you have the human spirit, and then you have the soul. Yeah. Now, in Genesis chapter 1 and 2, before the fall of man, in Genesis chapter 3, the Holy Spirit in, is in man. Do you believe that? The Holy Spirit is in man. So actually, inside man, there is two spirit. One is the human spirit, which is pure still at that time from Genesis 1 to 2 because they had not uh, sinned. They have not disobeyed God so they are pure. So the Holy Spirit resides on that body. Genesis 2, 16 verse 17 says and the Lord God commanded man you are not, you are free to eat from any tree of in the garden but you, man, you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. And we know the whole story. We know what happened in Genesis chapter 3. The serpent deceived, deceived the woman. So the woman disobeyed God. And then uh, he also, the man also was deceived. He uh, was given um, the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the man ate. So therefore, the man also sinned, disobeyed God. So because, because of that and because God is true to His Word, He said, when you eat from it, you will certainly die. So they did die. 
they did die because that 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 death composed of three three phases number one is separation from god or the holy spirit because of the disobedience the holy spirit went away they got separated from god then they lost the purity or the act of becoming unclean of the human spirit because before they have not disobeyed that human spirit is still clean but after the disobedience the human spirit is now unclean so that's why the holy spirit went away and eventually they they had physical death so adam adam died how many years after how many years po? In the adam ay moses pala yung 930 si 930 yung nasa isip ko 930 ba si moses Sino ba na? Oh, basta sabi ni Pastor Manny, 969 daw. So after 969 years, nagkaroon ng manifestation. Um, Adam died the physical death. No, but, so these are the three phases of death. Are you still with me? Yes. Brethren? Okay. So now, question. How many, or, how many, oh tama, how many types of spirit do, do you know? Dati alam ko yung spirito ng ano eh, ng, ng Sprite. Yun yung, kung bata ako, yun ang alam ko yung spirito ng Sprite. Kasi yung mga bumubula. Tinanong ko yung nanay ko nung minsan, Ma, bakit may bumubula? Wala naman nagpapabula. May spirito kasi yan, anak. Kaya yun, kaya yun ang iniisip ko, may spirito yung, yung, yung Sprite. Ayun, pero yun pala, yun, joke lang pala ako ng mother ko. So, how many types of spirit do you know? Three. Three? Three? Ama? Three? Actually, ilan, sister? Three then? Four? Actually, there are four. There are bad, bad spirit, good spirit, human spirit, may animal spirit pa na nabanggit sa Bible. But we don't want to deal with that because medyo malalim na pag-aaral na yung mga, mga ah, ano na tayo nun. Uh, may animal spirit pa na nabanggit sa Bible in Ecclesiastes, I think chapter 3 verse 20 or 24, some, somewhere there so, but three lang po yung pag-usapan natin ngayon uh, we don't need to talk about the animal spirit so we have the bad spirit we have the good spirit or we will say holy spirit because when we say holy that means set apart from sin diba? correct? so Good spirit is a Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about the capital H Holy Spirit. I'm talking about, I'm just uh, making an identification or a, uh, ano yun sa English? Hana? Asan si Hana? Pronoun? Pronoun ba yun? Adjective yun. Description. I'm just describing that the good spirit is a Holy Spirit because they are set apart from sin. They don't have sin. So, and under the bad spirit, we have Satan or Lucifer, di ba? Correct? Baka akala nyo, tao to si Satan. No. He's a spirit. He used to be an angel. And then, he's, he, Satan's angel. The demons. So, yan yung mga bad spirit. And then, under, under the good spirit, we have God the Father. Correct? We have Lord Jesus Christ. We have the Holy Spirit. The capital H, Holy Spirit. And, We have the angels of God. So, yan yung, yan yung uh, uh, classification nila. And then, of course, we have the human spirit. And under that human spirit is you and me. Man and woman and children also. Now, this is the problem. This is the sad thing. Because this, the, our, the human spirit, the man and woman, can be influenced by by bad or evil spirit. Kaya nga, sa Pilipinas, no, sorry, Kenyan brothers, I will try to English this later, to translate in English. May kasabihan tayo sa Pilipinas, di ba? Sabihin mo sa akin kung sino mga kaibigan mo, sasabihin ko kung sino ka. Di ba? Because, because of the influence. Kasi if you, <clears throat> di ba, yung kamatis nga, di ba, nabubulok, isama mo sa, hindi nabubulok, mabubulok din. Ganun yung influence. And that is how, how the, the evil one is trying to influence us. You know, trying to inject us the bad things, the evil, the evil things that sometimes that, that, uh, we are deceived that it is good, but actually it leads 
to our distraction. So what I'm trying to tell, ano yung sinabi ko? Sabihin mo, tell me. So Kenyan brothers in, yan, in, ayun, in the Philippines, we have a uh, kasabihan. Ano ba yung kasabihan sa taga English? Saying, yan, we have, <laughs> simple lang, di We have a saying in the Philippines, tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. Yeah? Because if your friends are bad, most probably you are also bad. Because you are in in the company of bad people. But praise be to God because you are the company of children of God. Amen. That's why you are here. So praise the Lord because because you are going to be influenced by the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. But of course we have Siyempre, we have the good spirit that is that is influencing us like, that like we are do like what we are doing right now we are here we are hearing the word of god later on we will see that the word of god has a big factor uh, in in receiving the holy spirit yan so <clears throat> and yung ating animated na tao so sabi ko nga di ba before the fall of man they he, they have the holy spirit in them the body the human spirit and soul so inside of them before the fall of man they have four actually not only three but in isaiah chapter 59 verse 2 it says but your iniquities have separated you from your god your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear because of their disobedience because of their sins what happened now yung holy spirit because something because of your iniquities i your iniquities pala have separated you from your god So now there's only three body, human spirit and then, and then the soul. So because of that sin what happened now to the human spirit remember the three phases of death I told you the separation from God so the removal of the holy spirit and then the the becoming us becoming unclean so our body our human spirit and our soul becoming that, that's why it's black that because it's it represents that we are dirty. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says that everyone uh, all of, you know, everyone has, has fallen short of the glory of God. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So that is what is being represented by this black color. That we are uh, nasa, nasa kaaba-abang sitwasyon tayo that time. But in Isaiah chapter 64 verse 6 it says, All of us have become like one who is unclean. No, because when we sin, when we disobey God, that's our that's our uh, status, that's our condition. We are unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. If you disobey God, even though you you're doing that something like you thought that is righteous, but no, the Bible says it's like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf, and like the wind, our sin sweeps us away. So this is our condition. Romans 6:23 says for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life and in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And in Romans 3:23 ito pala yan. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So every one of us including including myself. No, not only not only you, everyone including myself. So ganito yung condition natin. The the Holy Spirit is not with us. And we, we are unclean. Because ito nga yung sabi ko sa inyo, yung influence, because we have been influenced by the, the bad entity, by the evil entity. Yan. But, praise be to God, and this is like, uh, from the moment that I have heard this, this, this uh, verse, Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 25, 26, and 27, I have, always kept this in my heart as a formula for for us people because in here in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25 the Lord says I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean I will cleanse you from all impurities and from all your idols sino yung may mga sasakyan dyan sa labas? Brad may sasakyan ka no? <coughs> ayan Pastor Manny ako may sasakyan din Mar- marumi ba yung sasakyan nyo? Sobrang dumi. Ako rin, hindi ka actually, hindi ko nag-iisipan ko nga kung papalinis ko. Sobrang dumi, di ba? What do we do? We bring it where? Sa car wash, di ba? Anong ginagamit nila? Juice ba yung ginagamit nila pang car wash? No. They're using water, of course, soap as well. To clean the car. 
and the Bible says, the Lord God says, I will sprinkle clean water on you. Yes, we are dirty. We are unclean. But God said in Ezekiel 36 verse 25, He will sprinkle clean water in us. But how is He going to do that? So, get ready. Babasayin kayo ng Lord na ganyan. Bubuusan kayo ng tubig. No. The Bible, when the Bible talks about water, it talks about the Word of God. Amen? That's how we are going to be clean. Be through the Word of God. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26 says, To make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the Word. Now, if you will analyze this verse, if you will read in context, you will see that who is, who is being referred here is the Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord Jesus Christ is the groom. In the church, your church actually is siya yung babae, siya yung bride. No, what is being referred to here is the bride. So the bride, the bride is dirty. But the Lord Jesus Christ said, the groom said, He will make her holy. How? By cleansing her, by washing with water through the word. And that's what is being, what, that is what is happening right now. We are being, we are being made clean because of the word that, that we are hearing. No. John 15 verse 3 says, You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Amen? Because of the word of God, we are being clean. But it's not like you have heard it and you are clean. But of course, you need, once you heard it, uh, uh, James chapter 1 verse 21 or 22, Let us not be hearers of the word, but let us be doers of the word as well. So, one thing to hear, but one thing to to put it into practice. Let us put it into practice. Let us not be hearers only. So we are clean and and definitely if you will if you will uh, kung lalakaran mo, if you will walk the talk sabi nga, no, you will be clean. Because before, if you you don't know that that is bad, but now you know that it is bad, so you're not going to do it anymore. So you will be clean. So the word of God is the cleansing power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kailan nyo si Ernie Baron? Di ba si Si cleansing, ano yun? Kasi naggaganon si mama eh, dati. Si, yung pyramid something, tapos may cleansing, cleansing pa siya. So, the word of God is the cleansing power of, of, of God. No, to make us clean again. And because of the word of God, so yung, you see the illustration, because of the word of God, we will be made clean again. And in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, it says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. See, that is a formula. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 25 says, First, He will clean us. Okay? He will clean us. How? With the word of God. And once we are clean, He said, He will put a new spirit in you. But take note, this is not yet the Holy Spirit. Huh? Because the Holy Spirit did not die. The Holy Spirit did not die. He he left us when we uh, after after we sinned, he left us, but he did not die. The Holy Spirit is God, he will not die. No. So what is being referred to as the new spirit? Because now we are clean. Before we have an unclean spirit, but now we will have a clean spirit, clean human spirit because of the word. So that's why the word of the Lord said, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. That's why did you ba Pag naborn again kayo, nagbabago kayo. Di ba? Nagiging mabait kayo. O, totoo ba? Bumait ba kayo? Ha? Hindi ah. Ayaw ata mag-amen ng iba eh. Paano yung nasa likod? How about you, Kenyans, brother, Kenyan brothers, when you became born again, is there a change? Yes. Have you become different? For good, right? Because that is, that is what is happening Ezekiel 36 verse 26 says, The Lord will put in you a new heart. Before, if you have a heart of stone, now you have a heart of flesh. No. And you have a new spirit. Before you have an unclean spirit, now you have a clean spirit. Yun. So now, wala na. Hindi na dark. Hindi na black. Amen? So that is, this is the formula actually. Ezekiel 36, 25, 26, and 27. Amen? So now, yun na. So before, we were talking about the bad influence. Now we are talking about the good influence. The Word of God is our good influence. And of course, the Holy Spirit and the purpose and the will of God for us, that is our influence. Because God loved us. 
No. Di ba? Our favorite verse. John chapter 3 verse 16. Ano nga yun? Sige nga. Mm. Yan. Ang galing nyo ah. Dahil dyan, meron kayong <coughs> free rice mamaya. Courtesy of brother, uh, saan si brother, may birthday. Brother Yusuf. Ayun. Courtesy of brother Yusuf. Yan, for your for your information, brethren, si, because brother Yusuf, it's brother Yusuf's birthday, so he sponsored our uh, lunch the, for, for today. The, ang nag-cook, ang nag, nag-cook si Sister Seidel. Nasaan Sister Seidel? Wala. Ang nag-cook si Sister Seidel, but the finances is uh, from Brother Yusuf. So that is yung kanyang ano. Because of his birthday. Okay, let's go back. So now, so we, we have the body, the human spirit, and the soul. We said that when we sin, the Holy Spirit went away. Di ba? Now, in Ezekiel, tingnan nyo to. In Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 27, we went from 25, we will be we will, we will be sprinkled with water, and we will be clean. And in 26, the, we will have a new spirit, that, that clean spirit. And in 27, it says, and I will put my spirit. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? My spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. No, that's the Holy Spirit. No, like for example, my when I say yung yung aking yung aking anak si Hana. When I say my daughter, I will put my daughter in you. That that's it, it's kind of like that. No, yung sinasabi ng Lord, and I will put my spirit because you are clean, uh, because you yeah because you have been made clean, and because you have now the clean spirit. So the Lord God will put His spirit, and I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. So now, ayaw. You. We, we have the Holy Spirit back again. Ba? So that is the formula. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20 says, Do you know that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit? Do you know that, brethren, your bodies our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So it says so, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. So honor God with your bodies. So like what we're doing, we're serving the Lord. We will... <coughs> Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Tama ba? Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I, I think nandito ata yun. Ayun, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Amen. So your bodies, our bodies, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And true enough, each one of us, if really <clears throat> we have been cleansed by the Word of God, if we have the new spirit, which is the clean spirit, we have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, now, don't, it, ito don't hear what I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying that because I'm talking, I'm, I, I did not repair to the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you will say, oh, yun lang pala eh. Salita lang pala ng Lord. The word, the word of God lang pala ang requirement. No, that's not what I'm saying. Kaya ko din. So we don't need the Lord Jesus anymore? Is that the case? No. No. We need the Lord Jesus. Because if that's the case, then the Lord Jesus... Uh, should have not come, di ba? We just celebrated nga lang. We just, uh, uh, ang din? Yung, observe. observe yung Holy Week, di ba? Just a few weeks back. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 2 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. We were talking about the Word, and that Word that we are talking about, it says, and the Word became flesh. And who is that? It's our Lord Jesus Christ. So that word himself is uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. So who will clean us? It's our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Of course, the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. But it is our Lord Jesus Christ. So so we we are not... Uh, we are in wrong. We are incorrect when we say we don't need the Lord Jesus Christ. We need the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 3, verse 25 says, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement. Through the shedding of His blood, 
to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, he had left the sins committed beforehand and punished. Parang ganito yan eh. For example, uh, Brother Art. For example, I, I did something wrong to Brother Art. Then I will tell him, uh, okay, I, hindi ko na uulitin. So Brother Art accepted it. But what Brother Art will say, ano sasabi mo Kuya Art? Huh? Di ba sasabi natin, ganun na lang yun? Paano yung ginawa mo dati? Kasi ganun yung sinasabi dito. Uh, <clears throat> sabi dito, because in his forbearance, he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. So meaning to say, we are to be punished. But because of his forbearance, he had left He had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. We are to be punished, but He had left it unpunished because He he loves us so much, He doesn't want to punish us. That's why He sent our Lord Jesus Christ. No. As a sacrifice of atonement. And atonement, in the dictionary, it says that it's the action of making amends for a wrong or injury. So now, with my example with Brother Art, if Brother Art will say, ganun-ganun na lang yun, paano na yung dati? Si Lord Jesus Christ na yung bahala dun. Kaya nga, He atoned us, di ba? It's, yung, sabi nga dito, making amends. Kung ano man yung what, whatever wrong that has been done, that is making amends. Because now you, you have come to know to the Word of God that it is wrong and you will not do it again. But how about you have done the sin already? So you are, you are to be punished. God is saying that He just left He just, in, in his forbearance, he had left sins committed beforehand and punished because he doesn't want to punish us. Because if he will punish us, we will not be able to bear it. No, but because of his great love for us, he sent his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to suffer in place of us. No, So that's why the Lord Jesus Christ became our sacrifice of atonement. So, so the punishment has been brought upon the Lord Jesus Christ instead of each and every one of us. The Lord Jesus Christ received the punishment. That's why, di ba, John chapter 3, verse 16, di ba? For God so loved the world that, that anyone who believes in Him shall, uh, shall not perish, shall not be punished, but will have eternal life. But now, the question, brethren, do, do, do we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen? Amen? Do we? Amen. I I believe we d- we do and we should because the name of our church is Jesus Christ the resurrected king. No, if you don't believe our Lord Jesus Christ where do you where, where do you put your faith into? Yan. So we go back <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20 sabi ko nga our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the Holy Spirit in, is in you. Alam niyo po, being a Christian should not be uh, should not be boring. Should not being a Christian shouldn't be uh, in, in burden na rinig ko doon. Being a Christian shouldn't be yung bang powerless. You see Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Now, if the Holy Spirit is in you, then therefore, you are a powerful Christian, not because of yourself, but because of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. 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 Because there is really power. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ sent forth, God the Father sent forth the Holy Spirit. Now, later on, I'm going to yung message. Yan. So, yung, actually, yung palang yung introduction. Eh. So, we will start now with the Holy Spirit. So, now, before we start, before we start, have you under, understood ba? Nagets nyo ba yung nais kong ipunto, yung nais kong i-drive? That in the beginning, God created man according to His image. And that man is not yet man like this. It's only spirit. A man, spirit, and then Genesis 2, 7, God formed a man and then he breathed into the, into the nostrils and it became a living soul. And that man, because it has a pure spirit, the Holy Spirit is with that man. But because of disobedience, the, the Holy Spirit went away 
the human spirit become unclean so therefore afterwards the physical uh, the manifestation is physical death but in Ezekiel 25 to 25 26 and 27 we are taught that uh, we will be clean by the word of God and we will have a new spirit and we will have again the Holy Spirit and we are saying that we need the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the sacrifice of atonement and now we go to the Holy Spirit as I said no this is more like a lecture uh, lecture preaching type because I'm trying to introduce the Holy Spirit which will set a foundation for the succeeding Fridays where we will dig deeper into the Holy Spirit in the other preaching so the the other preacher will not be me it will be the other pastors uh, I think Pastor Joan, Pastor Reds, Pastor Mani, and afterwards our singles ministry and afterwards our couples ministry yeah, so eh, so so Kung sino yun sa singles ministry yung magpipreach, uh, that is a suspense. Kung sino yung magpipreach sa couples ministry, again, it's a suspense. Uh, but yes, because it's not, sabi nga, parati ko naririnig kay Pastor Manny dati, that, that in J.R. King, in J.R. King, we, uh, ano yung sinasabi mo, Pastor, we, we give, we give, the, ano yung, yung pulpit is not only for us. No, because, we will we give opportunity for those who wants to be used by God. Amen. No, because because uh, ano yung tawag din yung ginagamit mong term pastor monopoly. Ayun, hindi hindi po hindi po monopoly ang gawain ng Panginoon. Hindi po sa akin lang to, sa ating lahat to. But you need to desire it, of course. Amen. No, and if we see that 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 desire you will be used by God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. So, ito na. It's about Holy Spirit. John chapter 16 verse 7 says, But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. This is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ telling us that he will send the Holy Spirit. And the name of the Holy Spirit be, being referred to here is the advocate. John 14, 16 to 17, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you. And be with you forever you see because before the lord jesus christ when he was with the disciples he became the advocate their advocate but now that because the lord jesus christ went with the father and who is with us right now the holy spirit we have an advocate and it is the holy spirit the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him or he lives with you and will be in you Amen. So next time that you feel you feel na talunan ka, remember you have the Holy Spirit with you. Tap into that power of the Holy yes. Spirit. Amen. John chapter 14 verse 26 says, "But the advocate, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you." And brother, okay na? Empty picture kasi. Okay, I can change. John fifteen twenty six. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who goes out from the Father, He will testify about Me. John seven, John chapter seven, verse thirty eight to thirty nine. Whoever believes in Me, as Scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this He meant the Spirit. See, Liber, rivers of living water whom those who believe in him were later to receive up to the time the Spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. Ito nga yung sinasabi ni Pastor Manny. He, he was challenging us before who can tell us that while the Lord Jesus is ministering, the Holy Spirit is also ministering. No. Because the, the Holy Spirit at that time was with the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why the Holy Spirit is not ministering. That's why the Bible says since Jesus had not yet been glorified. But after the Lord Jesus had been glorified, the Holy Spirit came down, Lord Jesus went up. So now in here, we have an advocate and that is the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and so, I will, because sabi ko nga, the detailed one will be preached by the pastors. So I will not dig deeper as to, because 
para baka mapipreach ko na yung ipipreach nila. So, kaya I, I was very careful to just introduce lang yung yung introduction part. So, who is the Holy Spirit? He is the third person in the Trinity. He is the most important person in the planet today. Actually, I took this from Pastor Man's preaching. He is the most important person in the planet today. He, uh, I mean, his wisdom is superior to any human being. He has more knowledge than the combined libraries in the world. That is the Holy Spirit. He is the one that God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ sent to complete the work and the purpose of God on earth. He is the one sent by God to do the work and to finish the work intended to be done. The most important work on earth is the work of the Holy Spirit. The Old Testament is seen primarily as the work of God the Father. The New Testament, the poor gospel, is seen primarily, primarily as the work of the Son. But in our present time, this time, in our age, it is the work of the Holy Spirit. He is now the one in charge here on earth. Amen? Amen. So as I said, the, the succeeding Fridays, the preaching will be about the Holy Spirit. The detailed, detailed message about the Holy Spirit. So with that, that's the introduction to the Holy Spirit. Thank you and God bless us all. Amen. So, so brethren, um, because it is May 3 and it is the first Friday, first Friday of the month, we had an agreement that every first Friday of the month, we will have the breaking of bread. Brother Allen, can you please flash the breaking of bread? yung breaking of bread na so every <clears throat> every every first friday of the month we will have the breaking of bread but um, ay pwede na yan yan so actually why are we doing the breaking of bread because it has been commanded to us by god in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, it says, For I received from the Lord what I also presented to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night He was betrayed, He took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So it's a command from God to do this in remembrance of Him. It is not because it is my desire for us to break bread, but it is a commandment from God, from our Lord Jesus Christ. In 25, it says, In the same way, after supper, he took cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Again, the Lord said that whenever we eat the bread, we do that in remembrance of Him. Whenever we drink the cup, we do that in remembrance of Him. So, therefore, it is right, it is righteous to do this because it is a commandment from the Lord Jesus Christ to do the breaking of bread. Amen? Do you agree, brethren? Brothers and sisters? Hindi ata, walang nag amen Amen ba? Amen? Amen? Sige nga, mag-hallelujah nga kayo kung amen kayo. Hindi lahat eh. Nga, one, two, three. Oh, sige. Sige na nga, pwede na. So, as uh, Pastor Manny and Pastor Red is distributing yung pong ating cup and yung bread, yung pong ating bread is uh, pandesal made from Philippines na pinutul-putul po. Na ginawa po ni Pastor Rene. Then, hindi pa ako oh. Yan. So Wala. Balik na. PowerPoint. <clears throat> Yan. Ayaw. Yeah, 
And so why we should eat bread and drink the cup? Because we, in remembrance of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in doing so, in, in drinking the cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Amen. So yan po yung dinidistribute ni Pastor Manny and ni, ni Pastora Reds. So while while this is being distributed, we will pray for it. And uh, sino pong, uh, Sister Ayan, alam mo yun? Pinapay ng buhay. Ha? Alam mo yun? So ha, while it is being distributed, Sister Ayan will sing. God in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord, where we are going to break the bread. Father God, Lord, I pray for the elements, Lord God, the bread and the juice, Lord, that represents your body, that represents your blood. Father, I pray that these elements, Lord, will become a blessing to our brethren, Lord, as we remember you, Father, as we proclaim your death, your resurrection, and until the day you come, Father. Lord, we recognize, Father, that before you we we should be worthy to accept to accept you lord god so therefore lord we are confessing our sins to you father and we are asking for forgiveness father forgive us from all our, from all unrighteousness cleanse us father as we heard in the message lord god that you word, lord god you lord jesus forgives us lord forgive us from our sins father lord give us this clean spirit father and give us the Holy Spirit, Father, that we will be our advocate, Father. So therefore, today, Lord, I I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to break the bread and to drink the cup, Lord God, with the brethren, Father, because we know and we believe, Father, that you will come back. You will come back soon for us, Father. So thank you very much. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Brother Allen. In First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 26 says For I received from the Lord what I also pass unto you the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed he took the bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is for you 
do this in remembrance of me. Let's eat the bread, brethren, in remembrance of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in verse 25, it says, In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us drink. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, <coughs> you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Praise be to you, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, glory to God. Are we blessed? Okay, now we are, we are going to our uh, tithes and offering giving. <coughs> so someone will distribute the envelopes. So it's a reminder from uh, now onwards, the paper for the... What's this? The prayer request form uh, will be read in, uh, at in the entrance area so that when you came in the morning you can start writing your prayer request okay so um why we have to give uh, why we have to give our tithes and offering uh, before when i was um in the philippines i was so hes hesitate to give because i don't know why we have to give because i saw our pastors going to different places <laughs> before um I was thinking they're using the money for their own, but that's that's not that's wrong. Okay, we have to give because it's a command commandment from the Lord. Amen. Uh, let's open our Bible in Proverbs three, verse nine. It says there, honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. So um, it is a commandment from the Lord. Tithing is uh, our as as we as we give our tithes and offering, we are honoring God. We are giving thanks because of His goodness to us for all the blessings He is pouring to us. Amen. And it's uh, showing our gratitude to the Lord because He's blessing us with our jobs, with our uh, income, our resources, our finances, and it's our um, on as we give. Uh, we are honoring the Lord. Amen. That's one reason why we have to give. For Second, why we have to give? Because once, uh, when we give, there's a blessing coming. Are, are you amen on that? Amen. God is, uh, um, as, we di as, as we did our part, God will do the rest. He will bless all the aspects of your life, your, your work, your family, everything that you pray for God will give. Because that is His promise. In Malachi 3.10, right? In, Mar in Malachi 3.10, sabi doon, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and try me. God said, try me. Sabi mo nga, can you say, try me? Try God me. is telling you today, try me. And I, for I, I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out such for you such blessing that there will be not, not be no room enough to receive it. See, he says, he said, here there will be no, uh, not be room enough to receive it. So you have to be ready that God will shower, God, God will pour out his blessing to you. Uh, and, and third, um, as we give, we are supporting the church. We are supporting the kingdom of God. 
Amen. In and uh, in Proverbs three and uh, nine, uh, three ten, so it says there. Then your barns will be filled with to overflowing, and your pots will overflow with the new wine. And um, as we give, we are storing uh, help for the church um, to uh, to our new uh, to to the first timer. It's not. Um, mandatory to give but it's a uh, it's a commandment of the lord uh, whatever you see here all the money goes to our instrument the chairs the food that we are about to eat everything uh, no one is using the money not even the pastors uh, it's for the kingdom of god the, uh, we we discuss about the holy spirit the holy spirit if god if the holy spirit is within you there's an urge to give right if you if you saw a one chair is broken i want to give because i want to give for the church for god's kingdom amen because um as god blesses us at uh, this gifts uh we have uh supports our church and sabi nga eh na ano ko sa, sa testimony ni pastora um someone uh is in need the holy spirit is urging him to help and he gave money amen same thing with the Lord. If the Holy Spirit is urging you to, to, to give for the church, it's for the church. And there's a blessing after this. Uh, do not think uh, it's a loss for you because it's a loss for your money. But God will definitely bless you. And um, it is a testimony because I, before, I was so hesitant to, gay, to give because that time I don't know the, the real purpose and meaning of what we give but god is uh teaching us right teaching us god is helping us to understand holy spirit is understanding us give gives understand us to understand his word and for example if you have salary it's automatic the 10 percent for the lord is already reduced it's already less the remaining that's the uh yun na lang yung iba budget mo because what that's what i'm doing um, when I got my salary, automatic, the, for the Lord, it's separated already. The remaining, that's the time I will budget for my family, for my savings, everything. Because I, and definitely God will help you. Amen? It will be a habit. It will be a lifestyle. And, 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 I, and, and I tell you, God will bless you. Amen? So it's a challenge for us. Sabi, sabi ng Lord, test me, and I will open the, uh, the get, gates of blessing to you amen so let's all give stand and pray for our tithes and offering so it is so important that we are writing our prayer request because our pastors uh, will help us to pray amen so let's all uh, raise our hand to our offering hallelujah father god we thank you god 
We thank you for the opportunity to give, Lord. We are bringing back, Lord, all the blessings that you are pouring out to us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for our jobs, for our uh, sources of income, Lord God, that uh, you are blessing them, Lord, for us to be blessed, Lord God. But we know, Lord, that you are the source of everything, Lord God. You are the source of our uh, jobs, our works, Lord God, uh, any businesses, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you for all the provisions, Lord God, that you are uh, continually giving to us. Hallelujah, Father, we thank you, God. And Lord, uh, it's our uh, our way as, as we give our tithes and offering because we want to honor you, Lord God. This is our gratitude, Lord. We are so thankful because uh, of your great love, oh God, your grace, Lord God, that never stops, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Salamat po sa blessing, Lord God. And Lord, we even pray for our companies, Lord God. Those who are, who are searching for the job, Lord, bless them, Lord God. Bless them mightily, Lord God. For we know, Lord God, that you, uh, we have a powerful God uh, that we can... Uh, that na every time na lapit kami, Lord God, andiyan ka palagi, Lord God, sa amin, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord God. And Panginoon, we continue to pray for our companies, Lord God. More projects, Lord God. There will be no termination. There will be no forced leave, Lord God. There will be breakthroughs. There will be uh, provisions. There will be um, opportunity, Lord God. Promotion, salary increase, Lord God. We pray for that, Lord God. We claim that, Lord God, and we will continue to declare Declare that, Lord God, in our lives. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, and use this uh, ex uh, money, Lord God, for for the expansion of your kingdom, Lord God. Bless everyone who uh, gave, Lord God, and those who have no uh, ability for now to give, Lord God, bless them as well, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello po, good afternoon uh, for our uh, workers for next Friday, uh, preacher, Pastor uh, Joan, worship leader, Sis Jaja, wisdom prayer, Sis Jen, worship service coordinator, uh, Brad Orley, text and exhorter, uh, Sis Charlotte, kitchen ministry, Another than me. <laughs> Announcement. Uh, Sis Keys. Thanksgiver prayer. Brad uh, Patrick. That's all. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Additional announcement po. <clears throat> uh, supposed to be to the, 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 this evening, we will be having our second service. Because we have uh, brethren, total of 12 plus, I think around four of them that wants to attend the church. So, but unfortunately, they have uh, work extended. They have overtime, so it will not happen. But if it will not happen this evening, this Friday, so maybe the next Friday when they are free. So that will be our second service. And that's what we're praying for, right? We're praying for more souls. And the Lord is uh, sending sending us the souls and so let's keep on praying for that and let's keep on praying for them because they are hunger they are hungry for the word of god and uh and we will cater to them you know because that's the purpose why the church is here to cater to uh to to those people who who, who wants to receive the word of god amen as we have as we have received uh in the message you know the the word of god cleanse us, cleanse our spirit, cleanse our soul. So I believe they also want to receive the word of God because they want, they want to be cleansed. Amen. So let's keep on praying for that second service and uh, it's going to happen soon. 
once uh, maklir na yung trabaho nila because their their off is 5 p.m. so the second service will start at 6 p.m. but because they have overtime today so it will not happen maybe the next Friday it will happen amen praise the Lord so brother Richard thanksgiving prayer praise the Lord let's all stand up and uh, we pray let's pray Father in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you Lord for this wonderful day that you have are good at us. Thank you, Lord, for today's message about the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask you <clears throat> to keep in touch with us so that we may focus on you always. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, you in a mighty way because of our various departments. Thank you, Lord, because of kitchen ministry. Thank you, Lord, because of transport. Thank you, Lord, because of couple ministries and all the ministries, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to thank you also, Lord, because of our families back at home. We want to say thank you, Lord, because you are a God of caring. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, because of our brothers who are who never turn up today because of various works and responsibilities. We thank you, Lord, because it is you who give us these jobs. Father, we want to say as we prepare to go to our various accommodations, we like to ask you our kindness so that you may lead us always, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you are a mighty God. Thank you because of today's word. Thank you because of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, may it be, be dwell in our lives always. Father, we have hope in you because I pray this short prayer, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'd like to call on uh, our pastors, Pastor Manny, Pastor Reds, Pastor Joan. Si Pastor Joan. Pastor Manny. Wala si Pastor Joan. Yan. So, before we before we end the service, we'd like to pray for our the, the first time here. Sila sister, sister, young couple, Pastor Manny. Then yung yung mga kapatid po natin na mga female, Pastor Alex po. Ano pala si Pastor Radio? Hati nila. Magpipray. And so, brethren, sino pa po may prayer, may prayer request? Who else? Sister Angel? Your nephew, di ba? Uh, who else has a prayer request? Si Brother Richard? Si Charlotte? Andyan? So, opo, sakit lang. Si Brethren, let us all pray for Sister Angel. Anong pangalan ng nephew mo? Be 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 baby. Baby. Okay. Uh, Sister Shalom? Ah, di bali, kahit ikaw na lang. Uh, so, Sister Sister Angel over here has uh, her nephew who is in the Philippines. Her nephew her nephew's name is uh, Baby. No, he's a 10-year-old boy who is suffering dengue right now. He's in the Philippines. In, he's in a hospital. And uh, his platelets is is very low. No, So, as a children of God, no, we just had, we just had, we just received the message that the Holy Spirit is in us. Let us tap onto that power. Let us, let us, speak to God let us request let us pray to God that, that the healing will flow into Sister Angel into the life of his of her uh, nephew uh, named Baby 
a 10-year-old boy who is currently in the hospital. His platelet is very low uh, at around 30. Correct, sister? So let us let us all pray for that boy. And let us pray also for for work, for uh, permanent job for the wife of Sister Charlotte, Brother Richard, her husband. Sorry. So you heard the message. You heard the, his message. No, he was extended another man i believe the lord is doing something the lord is doing good things the lord is doing for for to each and every one of us something good and he will bless us amen so let us pray now our pastors oh. sister kes and just sister kes ayun pala sister kes father of katarata oh sige kasi yung worship team Saan na yung worship team? Dito na, pesto na kayo. Kasi para dire-direcho tayo. Worship team. Yan. So, we will just pray. Let's pray also for the father of sister Kes suffering uh, from Katarata. Anyone else? Prayer request? Birthday? Brother? Come. Let us pray, you know. God says in His word that we should pray unceasingly. And the Lord says that this worship house will be called a house of prayer. So therefore, we will pray for each and every one. Now we have our pastor here in front, Pastor Manny, Pastor John, Pastor Reds. We'll be praying for each and every one for our prayer request. And, I will, and in return, I will be praying for the whole, the Jair King Church. Amen. Are we ready, brethren? Let us pray. Let us pray. Amen. In Jesus' name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. Church, are you with us? Are you with me? Are you still here? Church, let us stand up. As we receive, as we receive the message, the Holy Spirit, really the Holy Spirit in him is in us. So church, today we will we will we will close this service on fire. We will close this service on fire. As, as the worship thing sing, the worship team sings. Set the fire. Because the Lord wants to set a fire on us. Not a fire that we know, but a fire from the Holy Spirit. Each and every one will be empowered. Each and every one will be on fire. Church, close your eyes. Bow your heads. Bow down your heads. And let us sing. As we close our eyes, let us sing and let us feel this. Let us feel the words and sing this. building a fan club, Lord God. We are not building an organization, Father God, but you are instructing us, Lord, to build a family, to build a family of God that 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 are uh, together, united in love, Father. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you for the worship team, for everyone that you have used, Father. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you give them more talent, more blessing, Lord God, that they, they may be able to use, Lord God, to glorify you in spirit and in truth, Father. Lord, in this church, Lord God, your dear King Church, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that they will not be a sitting ministry, but they will, they will, Lord God, they will be on fire, Father. They will be on fire, Lord God. One day, Lord God, they will stand here, Lord God, they will declare your glory, Father, for they have the fire of the Holy Spirit in them, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For everything, Father. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Maraming, maraming salamat, Panginoon. Lord, truly, Lord, this is the day that you have made, Father. So, bless each and every one of us. So, church, let us raise our hands as we receive the benediction. 
with the love of the Father, and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and with the fellowshipping of the Holy Spirit, we will go in peace, all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Church will dismiss. Victory song. Amen. So while we are waiting for the food, ay arrange po nila, dadalhin po dito. One victory song for our living God. Amen. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Amen. So while we are preparing for the food, may food po tayo, hard to see a producer because it's his birthday. Huh? Amen. Amen. So we will praise the Lord for truly with overflowing
follow. Whether if it's in the left or on the right. Amen. If he goes to the left, then we go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna dance, dance, yes, Lord, dance, dance in the river. Everybody, if he goes to the left, then we'll go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna shout, shout, yes, shout, shout, shout in the river. Shout, 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 shout. Thank you. 
Pero po, pero po, praise, praise. 